So when I hear men say, if I pay all the bills, what incentive, what extra incentive do I get? What you mean? So the fact that you got a woman that's at home, right, untouched, enjoys being in the house, respects herself, has morals, right? She caters to you. Yeah. You can trust her. She supports you in everything that you do. Right or wrong, she's supporting her men. Right? She pours into you. She makes it to where your house is a home. You feel so comfortable when you at home. You can be yourself. You don't have to have your guard up. You don't have to do all of that. You don't have to be Billy Badass. You can just be regular, your little Joe Schmo self when you in the house. You have to worry about her loyalty because you already know she's she she's yours. Top 10, she's yours. It ain't, ain't going nowhere. So again, what do you mean? What incentives do you get? What are you referring to? Are you talking about like the threesome? Are you talking about you want to be able to have sex with other women and she'd be okay with it? What are you referring to? Make it make sense here. Last time I checked, it wasn't many women out here like me. Last time I checked, it wasn't many men out here like you. So let's not sit here and act like we both ain't a prize, okay? Oh, when I hear me and I think everything she just said is probably the incentives they're talking about. What so, you mean? What? The threesome? No, no, no. When she was like listing all that stuff, saying like, "Oh, I'm making the house a home, being loyal, blah, blah, blah." That's probably what he's doing it for. The house is a home because we in it. You want? Well, to I mean, like, I feel like women. A woman always has a touch on the house. Like, you can always tell when a nigga have a bitch in his house. Versus when he don't. You really can. Like when that's you go to a new house, you can tell. Say that, that they wife make the house a home. No, a I can house agree. So if, like if decorating. I my, if I have my own house, that don't make it a home. If that's what you think. I mean, saying, y'all, saying, we've heard other men say. Hold on, I'm gonna what, say what, this. What, what I men? agree with what he's saying. You ain't the only man. I, I I agree <laughs> with what he's saying because the thing is, you can tell when a woman's been there, but that don't mean it's not a home. Cause he can put his touches on it, yeah, but you could tell if a I just woman, good taste. yeah, you could tell, tell if a woman is in that home though. That's the difference, difference. Yeah. because like when my wife buying stuff for the house, new drapes, new pillow cushions, new bed comforters, it made me feel good because I mm -hmm. feel like she want to be there. You know what I'm saying? Make like I said, the house a home in that sense of the family dynamic because yeah. she's not just decorating the house just for her as well like she'll be like baby what th what you think about this color uh what you think about these pillows what you think about this comfort and typically i don't really give a damn like uh -huh. if you want to do it do it just how much is it because i know i might be spending the money uh -huh. you know? it's the point so that you coming at me talking about oh i make the house at home no we make the house at home we come here well the loyalty the and all the other stuff she named too that could oh, be something that comes with it. Would you want a cookie because you being faithful? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that, but it's just like being a good woman. <laughs> Got him! <you. laughs> I mean, yeah. Moment. So he asked me, so you wouldn't be loyal or faithful to me without me paying all the bills? Okay, go back to the video and let oh, her name good. everything. Y'all can dissect no, every we, single thing that she said. We, got, we asked, I'm asking you, like, does that make... If I fuck with a nigga, I fuck with them, like, regardless of... if. They pay, I've never had a nigga pay my bills, so I wouldn't do all that with the intentions of getting my bills paid. Now, I'm saying, is she would, would she be right if a, a thousand women adopted that same mindset and say, well, since you're paying 50 and I got to pay 50, I'm going to give you 50% loyalty, 50% uh, femininity, 50% this, but if you paid 100, I'm going to kick off that other 50% and give you all of me. You that's know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of women single now, they had that um. same mindset she got. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, is she right to have that? Y'all, is she right? Do y'all, the ladies, y'all think mean, she's right? Got own Ashley, what opinion. you think? She's right in her own sense, but yeah. we don't have to agree with her. But yeah. loyalty is more than just you being us being faithful to each other. It's more than that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, like it's more than just keeping, keeping your legs like, closed. I don't think you're loyal if you step out the house and you're talking to your homeboys about what go on in the house. Mm. Why is the obvious is outside the house? It's more than just you keeping. Your man and your fans. Mm -hmm. It's way more than and vice versa with her. Like, so that's not a good example. I guess you I, just staying faithful to you're not cheating. That's all well, that is. I, I just I just use that as an example, but I'm saying if like under the under her pre preface is a hundred percent, you paying all you paying everything, so I'm gonna give you XYZ. If I wasn't paying everything, would you still give me XYZ? Oh, yes. But I, you take it, it depends because if we together and we stand together, we marry, it ain't gonna you're not gonna be there if you're not paying all the bills. Paying, why so, pay so, all so all dude, bills? so a dude married to you, dummy, he gotta pay all the bills. Yes. Why, why, why is that? 
because it's going to be double work for me. And I say that because if we are married and say I have kids, who the kids going to call? Mama. Nah. Call hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm, I'm asking you this question. Do you have kids? No, I don't. Okay, okay. Why you so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. I have yeah, I two. I I too I, I, I got two kids. Okay, my kids with me all the time. If I'm at home, they right up under me. We going outside playing. We mm. you know running, jumping, fight. My kids under me all the time. So I That's I don't. Just that thing you didn't let me finish. Go ahead. So if the, I say the kids calling me all the time, so you want me to cook? That's fine. I cook. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna get the groceries. I even buy my husband clothes. That's fine, but I'm not paying no bill. Yeah. You can so, stay but you can stay over there and I stay over here if you want to do 50. 50 so okay, time. so 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 he do a hundred percent of the bills and you got a hundred percent of the house. Yes, and daycare all I'm that cool. is on me. I'm Extracurricular cool. on me. Mm-hmm. I'm all cool of with that. that's on me. I'm cool with that. That's I'm cool. Like I'm cool with that. But that's still hey, I ain't no problem with that. That's still 50-50 though. That's that's 50-50. That's 50-50. Yeah, to to me it's 50-50, but you just brought you just structured it. You structured it to take off the the heavy. Yeah, cuz I don't want my man to be broke now. Okay, I got you. I don't want my man to be broke. Yeah, I get what you saying. It's still 50-50. Well, see, I didn't think y'all considered that 50-50. I thought y'all meant half of the cow be half of the more. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I got to ask everybody this question because we always had this conversation but i never asked this one question i've never heard it have y'all actually heard in real life a couple or you your home girl your homeboy they say they go to their woman and say hey he go to life i need you to pay half of it. you actually heard somebody say yeah. that yes what yes i ain't never heard it that's why i never thought that you, i thought y'all meant 50 50 was i have never heard nobody say that yes, yes. have y'all anybody said, else that's why women are single yeah. You had you Some heard somebody a dude come to a woman say it's better off like, yeah. with a man. I think well, let's look at it like this. It's okay, let's say he don't. It's a deal breaker for to even get in a relationship then at that point. Let's say y'all meet on the own say he cute, he think you cute, y'all attract y'all get a date and it's cool, but y'all about to take it to the next step. And y'all looking at this, this is the lifestyle y'all chose. I want the 300, I want the the five five or the five four bedroom house. Did you know you you the, the expense was going to amount to that before you said, nah, if you can't afford this, then I don't want that. But if you scale down, oh, I can afford that. This is just a 2-2, two, two, though. This is a 3-2. No. This ain't the 5-4. Is that, is that going to be an option? Well, I, okay, I pay all the bills, but we scale down. Yeah, we can right. grow. You can't get no $500,000 house grow, with just on one income. If we going to live nice, you take both now. people to pay oh, all I'm the I'm saying, so you would be cool with that. For now, for how long? See, with this, it's see, always that's always the thing with y'all. It's for now. A man, because typically men are easy going. If I'm happy here, I ain't got to progress. But it seems like women always, always got. We always, most women want better for want themselves. I, I've dated men who want better for them. I don't know nobody who's content with being here. I don't care whether it's your job, the amount you make, where we live at. If I stay in Irondale, eventually I want to be able to be, even if I don't move to Mount Brook, I want to be able to afford to stay there. Yeah, but I'm saying, how, like, what's that process? Look, he said, well, baby, we're going we to sit here for a couple of years, but you really want the 5-4. I feel like and that should be discussed guy that, before you even get to that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think it should. Half the time we be dating dudes, we looking up the salary before we even go out. He can be making all the salary, but he may just be frugal and don't want to live at his means. He want to live way below his means. So he got a million dollar house budget, but he want to stay in two hundred thousand dollar house. Well, you know your nigga cheap when you dating him, so you make that <laughs> decision you before you get to the house part. I'm just saying. Just you know the oh, oh, yeah, fr- frugal and cheap are two yeah, different yeah, things. Yeah. I, I didn't talk to people, and they'll be like, "Well, I grew up like dirt poor, and they just don't want to just spend all their money on just living a certain type of lifestyle." So they okay with here. It'd be like people like make a hundred thousand dollars a year, and they'd be like, "Well, I saved fifty. I don't see how they do it, but mm-hmm. they do it. They say fifty thousand every year because they keep their life like at the minimum. That's not saying they don't have it. They just comfortable for them. Yeah, I feel like people can still have money and be cheap at the same time. I think that's how people have yeah. money. Yeah, I think a lot of yeah. Cheap. Not being day. cheap because I I don't feel like I'm cheap, but I still manage to save a lot of money throughout the year. I still buy nice things and stuff. But you may not have had the other responsibilities and priorities that other people had too. Goals. Everybody lifestyle different. Yeah, so I'm saying if if a man if you met a man and say I'm gonna cover everything, it seemed like it'll be cool, but only for the now until you want bigger and better. Or That's not what feel, I'm saying. When you're when dating, you, you already establish what you want, like before you I, even. I don't get think there. people sit down and date, and they're not mapping out three to I five feel like years. Not mapping out three to five people years, but 
Why you you know whether bills, somebody want to live thing. a certain lifestyle. No, or not. I, I know, but people Why are not outlining. Like people not outlining that far ahead because we just started talking. I don't know where this going yet. I'm not right. saying like I'm not saying on the first date, but as you're dating, you see, okay, he like to live like this or he like to live like that. You can decide to not talk to him no more at that point. So I got a question. What? So the single ladies, both of y'all single, right? Ashton and Dominique. So for the single women in here, when y'all dating, how often is the future discussed? Like he said, line for line, like, baby, I want to be here. I want to make this type of money. I want to live in this neighborhood. It depends on who is with. How often does it happen, though? Not often. If you dated because 10... Most men, don't want, most men aren't ready to settle down. Most black men. Why they ain't ready to settle down? I don't know. That'd be a question. You think women no, have? You think women have anything to do with it? Now, let's yeah. say if you my wife. I don't you, know. Let's say you everything I want in my wife. A man gonna adapt and say, "Yeah, this the one. I'm about to." I feel like how people grow up also yeah. contributes to like if they didn't grow up in a two parent household or seeing a marriage, she might not give a fuck about you and right. or settling down that's if the they didn't grow up that way. Right. Oh, I think that's one of the issues. Is that is that not a goal for women? Women don't have a goal to get married. Me? Yes, women do, but the, a lot of times the men, do. some women do, but <laughs> a lot of Hold men on, I don't. Gotta, I gotta ask Asha, what she said? What'd you say? I'm Asha. I mean, jazz, jazz, jazz. 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 <laughs> I, I mean, me myself, I was my, okay, but me myself, my career was the top one. I mean, mm -hmm. the relationship would come at, at the end. I mean, I'm in a good relationship right now, so. Um, why, so. why did you put your career before marriage? You know, re relationships get a little uh can cloud your judgment. Mm -hmm. So you know, my main focus was my career better than myself, and no, then. The career, I hmm? you tell them what the career. Is. Wait, what? Well, yeah, what do you do? I'm an accountant. Okay, so you make decent money as an accountant. I do. Would, let's say. You got a good job right now. You meet the man. I got to know this hypothetical. I know y'all together, but you just, let's just say he today said, I got this job, this opportunity to move to another state and you got to just go with him and he got to support you. Would you do that? Oh, most definitely. I'm going to support my man. Okay. Here okay. Is. Okay. <laughs> what applause it for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make sure I get And it's probably applause. more jobs where he going to than she can get. Yeah, as an accountant, but I just, you know, a lot of people be comfortable in the money that they make. They may not want to move. They might have family still here.